Yo, hello to Marty T. How are you all doing? Hope you guys are doing good and wonderful. So, hope you guys had a great and wonderful week. Yo, Israel the Trader here, and in today's video, guys, I'm going to discuss with you guys how I'm able to pass my FTMO account. You know, it's a hundred thousand dollars account. So, this request was made by one of you guys that is watching us on YouTube. So, he said that to him, you know, can you please do a video series of how you actually pass this FTMO account? So, today, guys, you know. From last week trade, my FTMO account, that is the verification stage, which is the phase two, had actually hit fanatic profit. And now I am actually, you know, waiting for my funded account credentials right now. Once they send it, definitely, definitely, I will share with you guys. But in the meantime, I just want to like, um, you know, show you guys the analysis, how I was able to pass this FTMO account and all of that. Because you all know recently that uh, my funded FX had actually restricted me from purchasing or doing anything on their platform. You know, my funded FX is one of the uh, platform I actually love the most. And I even recommend it for you guys who are in my Telegram channel. But it is what it is, so I can't do anything on that particular uh, my funded FX again. So yeah, that's where I came back on. FTMO because I stopped trading on FTMO. That was 2020. November 2020. I can even see the result right here. So let me just try to show. So you all can see, you know, this was when um, I passed my last account with FTMO, which was end November 2nd, which was 2020. That was when I actually passed my last account with FTMO. And uh, this is the, you know, new account I have with them, which is $100,000 passed. Um, 16th of September, but you know, in the meantime, I will definitely, definitely show you guys how and uh, you know, you know, just basically how I was able to pass this um, my funded effects account. So yeah, without without wasting much of your time, guys, let's dive in. Yeah. Okay, guys. So yeah, here we go now on my uh, desktop where I'm going to be showing you guys, you know how I'm able to pass this account and where are the accounts details and all of that. So yeah, this is the accounts right now on the screen. So you all can see it right at the moment. So this was when I actually passed this my account, which is a $100,000 account. So let's go down to the metrics. So you all can see how the account performed and all of that. Actually, I had a lot of drawdowns earlier, but you know, drawdown is actually okay when it comes to forex trading based on the fact that Drawdowns are inevitable, you cannot run away from it. Definitely, definitely, you encounter drawdowns and all of that. So this is the account metrics right now. And um, you all can see that I did nine minimum of trading days. I mean, nine days of trading, not minimum of trading days, because they only have, uh, you have to give them minimum of four trading days in order for you to pass your FTMO account. So, um, you know, you all see that so you have a max daily loss of 5,000, but you all see that, I did negative 4.93% on that particular day. But well, I will show you the day, guys, that I did this minus 4.93%. Um, this was terrible. I had a terrible day that day. I overtrained and all of that. But at the end of the day, I didn't want to break this account. So I, you know, I just cut my losses in order for me to just, you know, um, stay away from the market for that day. The next day I traded, I think I now recovered the next day and all of that. So, you know, coming down to our max loss is 10,000, but here I was able to just do it like halfway, which is 5.93%. So that's where I stopped with my max loss. So I did not actually lose up to like 8% or something like that. I did not win in that drawdown, yeah? So profit target, of course, FTMO is 10%. So I was able to give them 10.38%. So yeah, I think this was CPI news, yeah. We trade, we were in trade on GBPUSD. So definitely that was a CPI trade and all of that. So the market met us in the sale and boom, the market went in our direction. I think that day I made about seven to eight thousand dollars roughly on um, this particular account. So I don't know why trading view is not loading right now. Let me refresh it. I wanted to show you guys the analysis and everything on trading view. So, but it's not loading right now. When it comes up, definitely I will, you know. Then you guys decide to trade and all of that. I don't know, you know, I could have just do it with my MacBook, but I decided to do it on a bigger screen. Yeah. So coming down to our you know daily summary, you all can see. You all can see 
On 5th of September, remember, I start, I purchased this account 29th of August, 2024. So I started trading on it 30th of August. So here, I went in with lots, eight lot size in total, like with four different trades. I took this, I took that, and so on and so forth. So equivalent of eight lot size. So I made $3,362 from there. Then the next day, I think this was on Saturday, you know, I just took 0 0.1 lots on BTC USD, which was Bitcoin. Yeah. The same thing on 1st of September, which was Sunday. The same just to complete these four minimum trading days. Then on Monday, you know, I just got it with four lot size, of which I ended up closing that particular trade with minus $132. Then on 6th of September, which was Tuesday, I got it with 10 lot size, guys. You all, I hope you guys are following me. I got it with 10 lot size. Uh, I think I can annotate with this. So I got it with 10 lot size. You all can see here that on 6th of September, you know, I got it with 25 lot size, guys. I made $1,935 there. Then here I made, I lost, you know, this was the day I actually lost a lot on this account. 4.6% guys lost in a day. So I was just desperate to pass this account because of my foreign affairs had restricted my account. I can't do nothing. I don't have accounts I have again and all of that. I was like, yo, so I'm not going to be trading no more. So that's what actually happened here. I just wanted to just like, okay, let me just at least risk 4.5%. Since I'm um, going to make making 10% profit target as my target point, then definitely if I risk 4.5%, you know, with one to two risk ratio, I should be able to pass this account in a day. That was my target point, but it is what it is. I end up losing this 4.5%. Uh, so yeah, I knew what I was doing. That's when I risked this particular account here. So that's what happened here. Then the next day, I traded again with 25 lot size in total. Remember, this is in total. I don't put 25 lot size. This is a single account, by the way. I only have one to three uh, leverage. So definitely my max lot size is just 20. So I take it to different looks, uh, different trades and all of that. So made $1,935 here. The next day, with 10 lot size guys, see what happened. I lost again, 4.9%. I was like, yo, what's going on here, man? So definitely the next day, I was able to, you know, recover that, those losses, which almost 7%. So I got into 25 lot size guys, made about 7%. So recovered from the accounts, uh, from the losses, they definitely made so much money and boom, almost 2% off. So the next day, I made about 8%, almost 8% rather. That's what I made. So definitely, definitely, you see how it goes, you know, a lot of ups and downs and all of that. So this is the daily summary on this particular, um, uh, what do you call it, account. And of course, you know, that's how trading works, guys. That's how trading works. So, with that being said, let me go down and um, uh, how do I clean this? Okay, I was trying to figure out how I can clean this stuff, but eventually I've cleaned it now. So, yeah, um, that's these guys when it comes to, um, you know, this challenge. So, let's go down to our uh, verification stage, which is the phase two of this particular account. And again, what I was trying to tell you guys earlier is that there is this stuff that I stopped trading. Okay, yeah, it's this same FTM that I made mention of I stopped trading with it in November, 2020. So you all can see it right here. You know, if you can see it, you can see it here. I stopped trading on this particular account in November, 2020. That was my last account I passed, and that was $10,000 I can buy the year, of which I did not withdraw from the account. I ended up blowing it, yeah? I lost, I think I violated any drawdown or something on this particular account, so I didn't withdraw anything from the account. But I had another thing with this FTM, but of course that's going to be in our next video. So yeah, um, coming back to the verification stage now. So in the verification stage, guys, uh, what happened is, let me let me just go to the matrix. Let me just go to the matrix so that you guys can see what happened on the verification stage and all of that. So this is the verification stage. Now, of course, you can see my consistency ratio here is about 57%, but normally my own is 60 to 80%. That's my 
profit, um, what do you call it now? That's how consistent I, consistent I am, or, you know, however you call it. I have um, 60 to 80 percent consistency rate. But here I'm having 57 percent based on the fact that there's no much trading um, went on on this particular account. So, yeah, if you go back down to our uh, verification stage, definitely you see, I think I had about 70 something here about. So, uh, my win rate, okay, my win rate is 60 to 80 percent. Yeah, that's my win rate. So, um, Coming down to the result here, guys, you all can see started on the 11th of September, you know, then um, that is when I started it with five plus size, you know, just less than two bits. The next day, when you were 25 plus size, boom, we lost about almost five percent, guys. I was mad this day. I was like, yo, intro, what's going on, man? So the next day, in total, I took about 18 trades these days, but yeah, this day, but you know, I just get it, get out, get in, get out. Just try to recover this particular four thousand eight hundred and forty-five dollars that I lost on this particular account. That's what happened this very day. So yeah, um, made about seven point three percent recovered, and even made like two percent here about. Then this was on Saturday. This was on Sunday. I lost zero point four zero point four on Bitcoin. I was trying to trade Bitcoin, guys, based on the fact that I need four minimum trading days in order for me to be able to pass this particular uh, FTM account. So definitely, definitely that's what happened. And on Monday, I still had a running, a running position, but we closed it on Friday, guys. Then I saw opportunity for the buy. Normally, I don't trade on Mondays, but based on the fact that I don't have any account at hand again, I wanted to still trade based on I need to pass this account so I can have, you know, trading account based. I'm not used to Trading demo accounts. I used to trading programs, my phones, and all of that. So trading demo is like, yo, what am I going to gain from that? Since I'm an experienced trader, you can see this account I like created this in 2020, but I've started trading programs since 2019. But trading forex, I started that since 2017. But when it comes to cryptocurrency, I started trading cryptocurrency since 2015, guys. So you all know that I've been in this game for years, man. So seeing me trading, um, Trading, what is it called now? Trading, um, oh my goodness, trading demo account definitely that's not going to make any of any sense to me. So, yeah, that's what happened. And, um, you know, that is just it, guys. Uh, I don't know if this helps, man. I don't know what, what's happening with uh, um, trading view. I wanted to show you guys some of the trade I took, the reason behind it, and all of that. So, but in the meantime, it's not loading. So definitely, definitely, I'll update you guys in our next video, and I'm going to be dropping more videos like this one. If you like what you have seen so far, guys, please give this video a thumbs up, and make sure you subscribe to this channel in order for me to be, you know, uploading videos, and you get updated in whatever I'm uploading and whatever that is going on here on even the Trader channel. So definitely, definitely, guys, thank you very much. I love you all. See you guys next time.